Hi there, thank you for joining me. Uh, today we're going to be playing with the melt pot. You can use so many things with a melt pot, it's a fantastic tool, so let's get cracking. Okay, to use our melt pot, um, we're going to use a few different um, embossing powders first of all. Now, the main one is ultra clear. It's a thicker granule than your normal embossing powder, so you won't need as much in your actual pot. We're using the clear. We've also got in our ultra thick uh, coloured powders, I've got some from Crafting Oceans and I've also got some from Cosmic Shimmer. You get loads of different colours and the mica in them uh, changes the actual colour when it goes into the pot. So when they melt down you do get colour variations. Now if you're using your Uta um, for jewellery for instance, this is a really handy product. This is your Flex and it actually makes your, your, your finished object more durable um, because it does have a tendency to be quite uh, easy to crack. So that is definitely worth putting in your basket if you're thinking of making jewellery pieces. Now the actual melt pot itself, move these out of the way. This is my melt pot. Um, with the melt pot, you can see mine's loved, it's nice and dirty. The melt pot has heat resistant handle so it makes it easy to lift up. The actual lid, again, heat resistant. It does, I mean, it gets warm but it's not really hot to touch. You've also got the temperature as well on there. Now, to actually melt you to, you're at the highest temperature but you can use it for other things. So, for instance, you can use it for chocolate, you can use it um, if you're if you do using FIMO or even for plastic so it's a handy little pan now you can see the pourer I didn't mean to do that but it shows you what it does now the pourer allows you the actual pan's been designed so it'll easily pour allow you to pour your UT out now when you've poured your UT there's loads of ways we can use this and we're going to show you L allow that to cool if you're emptying your pan for instance so if you're cleaning this pan you'd completely cut I've act, I'll show you. You'll completely empty all your uter. So all you do is scoop all this out. Now don't panic. The lovely thing about the melt pot, there's not a lot of waste. Because all this that I'm tipping out now, we can let cool down, it cools into a solid, and then we can use it again. And it's dead simple. Now what I'm doing, you can see I'm scraping the pan out. That allows me to get as much uter as possible out. To get all the extra bits, just get um, a tissue, just a nice kitchen, a piece of kitchen paper and get all the extra UT out. I'm not going to bother with that because I'm using this pan for clear UT. Um, the UT I've tipped out, you can see, has got, because I've used that quite a bit and it's got all different flecks in there, that's gone quite amber. What you do to fill up your pan, so when you get your nice new shiny pan, you'll just fill up. Put all, and I'm going to use a lot of powder because we're doing a lot of demonstrations. Fill it up and allow it to, to actually melt. So you'll put it, why not, stick it all in. So you'll allow that to melt down, put your lid back on, pop it to one side, obviously on full, ready for your UT, and that's going to melt down and then you'll be able to use your actual melting pot. <laughs> 